missed the debate. Let's do it, okay? Last night, Republican debate out of Detroit, Michigan. Doesn't really matter where it was held, but uh, there they are on stage, and uh, here's a taste. Donald, please, I know it's hard yeah, not to interrupt. Is, but it's but not try. what you said in the op -ed. Breathe. Breathe. Lion dead. Breathe. <laughs> You can do it. You can breathe. I, I know it's hard. I know it's hard, but just... When they're done with the yoga, can I answer a question? You, you, you cannot. <laughs> and that was one of the more uh, tame exchanges. I, I've never in my wildest dreams ever thought we'd get down to the male anatomy in a Republican debate. But, hey, this is a new world. Let's bring in our uh, experts, Republican strategist Ed Rollins and body language expert Tanya Ryman. Um, Mr. Rollins... Did you ever imagine no, I, we'd I've been be looking it. at hands? No, I've been do or, and, and, and description of other part, body parts. I, I've been doing this for 50 years. I've never seen any debate anywhere at any level at this, like this. And, and this reminded me of sort of the, the, the smart kids in the club coming out and beating up on the bully at the end of the day, though the bully's still standing. Let's watch uh, that big yep. moment, okay? Or how big? That's debatable, I guess. <laughs> oh, damn, <laughs> Let's Donald. Let's watch this. <laughs> My hands, if they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee you. Okay. Kind of amazed me about this. He didn't smile or crack a joke. I mean, he was being, it seems, Deadly serious, Tanya. Incredibly serious. This is this is what we're looking for now in presidential candidates. I don't know. That that was a big thing. He said it and he said it blatantly and he meant it and it was like a challenge. You wanna you wanna take a look right now? So we when you look at his it. at his body language and that kind of thing, was he Sh sh rattled? Not there. He was rattled at certain points when they were like doing the raptor, when they were kind of ganging up on him. He did get rattled. You saw him mumbling under his breath. But at this point, no, he was solid. He was feeling good about himself. I think he's made that description before. I think he's very proud of whatever he's done in his past. Yeah. So he's, very, he's a but braggart. You know, prime yeah. time TV. Anyway, what do you think is going to happen here, Ed? You have an amazing connection with the Republican Party. You've been doing this for a long time. You manage Ronald Reagan's campaign, and you believe. Who will be the nominee? I think Trump will be the nominee. I, I think a lot of people will be disgusted by it, but I think the way the process is set up, uh, with these winner-take-alls coming up, that he's going to win it uh, with, a, with a minority of the vote, but he'll win it. Last night, I guess there was some um, thoughts about whether he could take on Hillary Clinton. And I think during the debate, I think we have that clip where he said, don't worry, I haven't even started on her yet. Uh, can we roll that? I beat Hillary Clinton in many polls. The Q poll just came out. I beat Hillary Clinton in a recent Fox poll. I beat Hillary Clinton in USA Today. I beat her today in a poll in Ohio. I beat, I'm the only one that beats Hillary Clinton. I beat, and I haven't even, I have not started on Hillary yet. Believe me, I will start soon. I haven't even started. I have not started yet. Ed Rollins. This will be the nastiest campaign in the history of the country, uh, by far. Uh, and and all, it'll, it'll be in debates, it'll be in, in, in commercials, and it'll start in about another month, and it'll be knocked down, drag out uh, from start to finish on both sides. Tanya, what's going on in the inside his head? Does he, is he that confident? Is he, he that? Is, is there that, any kind of yes. quiet desperation, or is there a little boy inside? You know what? If you watch, like, pretty much he gets to a boiling point, and then he starts doing these bizarre movements. He gets, the gestures become larger. He starts doing the insults. The insults start to hurt and that's when you know that he's starting to feel it even his facial expression when he starts doing too many of them once again you know he's starting to feel the pressure interestingly enough they take the break he comes back and he's like a new man his voice is calmer his demeanor is calmer it's like he goes and takes like 10 deep breaths comes back and he's ready to fight again well he's a narcissist yeah. narcissists don't like to be attacked yeah. uh, and, and that's every time he's been attacked the last two debates he, he basically comes out and he overreacts yes. I think for the Republican Party this is all very damaging and and I assume he's going to be the nominee. He may be a viable candidate for the presidency, but Republicans can't be very proud of this performance. Clinically, you think he's a narcissist? Clinically, yeah. I think he's, I think by far. And yep. I'm not a psychiatrist. Well, but you I know what? It, right now, it just seems like the American people, while there is a gr right. big group that are not in favor of Donald Trump within the Republican Party, it seems like the people want Donald Trump. Well, and it's only the establishment who doesn't well, want I, Do I, Donald I, I, Trump. I, I, I claim You're the establishment, Ed. The, the establishment can't control the element. The, they, they basically c created rules that allow him to go ahead and these winner-take-alls and win. What he has projected, though, and I accuse him of being a narcissist, but, but people out there see him as a leader. This is a tough guy, can take charge. He's done all these wonderful things in New York and everything else. Uh, with this disputable, whether he has or not, it doesn't matter. Their impression of him is he can go to Washington and fix it. But he will build also, the wall. He'll do the things that they, they want. There's also a piece that is 
somewhat manipulative in what he does, and it's the way he uses his language. Very short sentences, one-syllable words for the most part, and the repetition, the repetition. You call it manipulative. A lot of people might call it, might call it effective. I mean, this is... Well, manipulation usually is effective. Yeah. He's an extraordinary, extraordinary salesman. Yes. He's an extraordinary salesman. He sold himself more than anything else, and he's, he's, and he's doing that again. Megan Kelly, superstar moderator. I uh, want to show you this, and we'll talk. How you doing? Nice to be with you, Megan. Great to have you nice here. You. You're looking well. You're looking As well. are you. <laughs> we're all laughing, of course, because, uh, well, some really harsh things were, were said by Donald Trump about Megyn Kelly ever since that August debate. What do you see there, Tanya? What's coming through now? Is that a genuine makeup session? You know, this was great because she set him up nice, 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 and then, boom, took him to school on Trump University. So this was very effective, the way she handled this. You know, it was very nice. She was cordial, but at the same time, she was strong. And one of the things I was wondering is how she was going to come back after that interaction and how he was going to react to her. And the two of them were very good together. They worked it out, and then she went in and so did what she had to Fo do. Fox, Fox had a great cast last night and yes. they did a wonderful job but she was superb yeah of all the attacks on him last night she took him apart she yes. was like a lawyer and she just laced him and basically made the charges she is a lawyer she is a lawyer that's right <laughs> she, made, she was like in, in the court research yeah. she had everything she needed to just go back right at everything that he spills back because what he tends to do is just yes you to death and then you start to believe him again it goes back to that reputi uh, repetition if i keep saying it over and over again you start to believe it it's like a child so mr rollins uh does donald uh pick up more view, uh, supporters I, after I don't, this? I don't think anybody lost any votes last night. I think John Kasich obviously gave a nice free history of his last 40 years in politics. That helps people in Ohio. Uh, and I think I think uh, Cruz had his best night, but I don't think Donald lost any support. How about this? I got to get your opinion. Uh, there are there are talk about Republicans bolting the party, right. forming a third party, the Constitution Party, uh, and with some heavyweights and running in November. Is that you have any sense that that's going to happen? Well, it happened in 1912 when Teddy Roosevelt decided to create the Rough Riders and basically uh, the, the the Bull Moose Party and the incumbent Republican lost. Could it happen so this time? It could happen this time, but I, but I, I'm doubtful. Doubtful. Uh, all right. All right. Tanya Ryman, Ed Rollins, thank, thank you. you so much for thank being you. here. Now, everybody hold up their hands. I, no, let's not do it this way. Can I tell you something? I think my way. hands are bigger than yours. As my a, hands are probably bigger <laughs> than anyone. Totally as, a, as, a man, as a man with small hands, I don't want to have that as a measurement of anything else. So. <laughs> don't worry. It's the feet. It's not the hands. And Rosetta is the one who told me about the tie-in. Mm -hmm. I did not even want... I, I said, you know, the new hashtag should be, instead of damn Daniel, it should be damn Donald. Um, good day. What we have found right out this back. morning is that he, let, he moved it to a, when he was two, in second grade, and it's affected him ever since, and he didn't invite you to the party, so I have to watch the chemistry between the two of them. <laughs> I, you were, you know, the first thing you say is, you didn't, why didn't you invite me? You were.